So my bathroom. It just needs so much right now. It's just such a mess. I feel like the whole house is clean except for the bathroom and I just totally need to clean out these cabinets. They're just a hodgepodge of stuff thrown everywhere. I know it might not look so terrible, but it I mean, it, the floors just need to be cleaned. I need to clean out my daughter's tub as well as just wash all of the towels. Definitely all of the grout needs to be cleaned and honestly, I didn't even want to show this. But The shower just gets so disgusting. And of course I broke off our soap holder right before this. It did order some Gorilla Glue to put it back on, but that will have to be in a different video because it hasn't arrived yet. But if you can see, it's like embarrassing to even show it, but the grout just gets so disgusting. It just, no matter what I do, if I don't use bleach, it will not um, stay clean. And I hate using bleach because I don't like toxic chemicals and it gives me a headache. But if I don't do it, it just ends up like this. And that's real life for you. <laughs> I definitely just need to clear out the shower and throw out all the empty products and replenish what needs to be replaced. And give it all a really good scrub down. At least normally when I clean the shower, it will really stay clean for like three months and then I just do, you know, maintenance cleaning. But I really need to get it going. Here's Mr. Molly. Just praying he doesn't have to take a bath. And then just to show you guys the cleaning products I'm going to be using. Um, for the shower grout and the caulking around the sh walk-in shower, I'm just going to be using this uh, Lysol Bleach Toilet Cleaner. It's one of the only things that works, and I'm telling you guys, if you have the same problem, it is a lifesaver. It will literally last me like three months after doing it once and actually stay clean. So I'll be using that, and I honestly hate using bleach, but sometimes in situations like this, you just have to because nothing else will clean it properly. I then kind of will layer it with this Clorox foam cleanser and the coconut scents, and I feel like that at least, at least gets away that bleach smell. I just have some um, cleaning wipes here for pretty much everything, paper towels, um, some gloves. This is my microfiber towels. I get these on Amazon. I love these. I use them for literally everything for all of my surface cleaning. I have two different sponges. Um, one I'll be using for all of the tile around the whole bathroom and then one separately from the shower because it's so gross <laughs> and I don't like to miss mix um, sponges. I am just too OCD for that. And then um, the Method bathroom cleaner and this stuff just smells so good as well and I like using good smelling stuff after I deep clean so that the bathroom just has that gorgeous fresh smell for days afterwards. And then the last thing I have here, which might look a little bit crazy, is um, some shaving cream, but you'll see what I do with that later. I promise. I haven't lost my mind. So, as much as I don't feel like doing this, let's just get to it. So I started by taking my dirty towels, dirty laundry, and bathroom rug and throwing them into the washing machine. That way, mid-clean, I could switch out the cycles and they would be fresh and new by the time I was done cleaning. Next I was cleaning my mop head off. I didn't realize how disgusting that this actually was getting. It's just one of those things you never think to do and then you're thankful that you cleaned it once it's done. Okay. 
I then clean my daughter's bath out. I deep clean her tub about once a week. I just do a quick surface clean otherwise. But it's so sad, you guys, because she's getting so big and she's growing out of this. So I'm going to have to find a replacement soon. And now I'm just cleaning out my daughter's bottles. I try to only go through one or two a day, but on busy days like this, I end up going through five or more just because I don't have the time to constantly be cleaning them. It's just one of those things that I do every single day. And next, I'm moving on to my bathroom cabinet. I have wanted to do this forever. It just becomes such a hodgepodge of a mess. I throw everything in there because it's out of sight, out of mind. And it felt so nice to declutter it. I also figured out some things that I needed to pick up. And I gave it a quick wipe down as well. And it felt so good to have everything organized in there finally. Next, I moved on to the toilet and I was not messing around. I sprayed Clorox all around the floors, the base, the top, and I really just wanted to get it sparkly clean and that way I felt like no new illnesses should be coming around anytime soon. And here I'm just lay laying down the Lysol. I'm literally just putting it down all the tiles. I just let it drip down. I scrub it later. I let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then after I hit all of the tiles and all of the caulking at the bottom of the shower, I will then layer it with that Lysol coconut spray, which just gives mu a much better scent and gives me less of a headache. But as much as I hate using any kind of toxic fumes, this really is the only thing that works and that will keep it looking white and clean for a good three months. I really notice I only have to do this maybe three times a year in order for it to look this clean. So it's definitely worth doing if you're having the same type of si similar situation. And honestly, it's my least favorite part. I absolutely hate cleaning showers. I don't know what it is, if it's the size or because of just the griminess of it. I would take a cleaning a toilet any day over the shower. Tell me I'm not alone, please. And moving on to the shaving cream situation, I found this out on Pinterest and it works wonders. I take, you can really use any shaving cream. I like one that's coconut scented for some reason that works really well for me. Also the Barbasol ones work really well. But you just layer the shaving cream onto your sink and around the base of your toilet and rub it in a little bit. 
leave it on for about 10 minutes and then wipe it off with a cloth and it leaves the best scents and I swear with the hot summer months coming any boy moms out there would really appreciate this. The whole bathroom is really just filled with tiles, so I like to give them a good scrub down at least once a week. I feel like it keeps the bathroom really fresh, and if I don't do this, I definitely notice a difference. So I'm just using that Clorox spray and a wet sponge, and that's all that's really needed. It's a pretty quick process, and I don't mind doing this, this one. <laughs> Here I'm just scrubbing down the mirrors. I really love doing this. It's one of the most relaxing feelings. I always enjoy this part of cleaning the bathroom. Plus I feel like the mirror is such a focal point. So if that's clean, it makes the bathroom seem clean even when it's not. And now I'm just placing back all of the products back onto my countertops. I love this part because I know I'm getting towards the end once my counters have been cleaned off and I can rearrange things as I like to see them. And I finally finish with mopping my floors. I love having clean floors, especially in the bathroom. I use some of the Clorox as well as the Grapefruit Method Spray. And the smell was amazing afterwards. I really recommend you try it. And now it's just about finishing touches, putting out all the clean towels from the laundry, both the hand towels and the bath towels that we'll be using. I like having them out instead of put away. It's just so much more convenient in real life to have them as needed. My favorite part of cleaning a bathroom is laying down the clean bathroom rug. It is so satisfying and makes the bathroom look so clean. I love to do this at least once a week. And now I'm just hanging up a cute sign that I found at the Target dollar spot. And here's the finished result. Thank you for coming back for another cleaning video. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope this gave you some motivation as well. There really is nothing like a clean bathroom to wake up to in the morning. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.